hello fans welcome to the media motivator welcome to high life international e-commerce i am telling Emmanuel, your usual host for this channel in today's edition i will be drilling you on how to withdraw your funds from high life international e-commerce platform in the form of bitcoins remember in the past the platform permitted us to do withdrawal through our local currencies using managers or service centers but for now the best way that the company has put at our disposal for withdrawal is through bitcoins even p2p is an, an option though it's a bit complex now because it only permits uh, transfer between members at the same level for instance you could do transfer between a vip one account to a vip another vip one account vip2 to another vip2 so withdrawing through bitcoins is the best method and we are all obliged to master the procedure on how to uh, do withdrawal in the form of bitcoins and in this video i'll be giving you full tutorials on how to go about it without wasting so much time i will take you to the process all right now this process is going to take us we are going to take four good steps four good stages with uh, sub steps within stage number one we are expected to download an application from our google play store which is called the google authenticator this google authenticator is an application that permits us to give a double security to our account such that hackers will not be able to reach our account so you for you to get this app simply go to your play store and you type google authenticator it has a symbol like this just go and type you are going to get it downloaded now after downloading this app the next thing you do is you go to your high life account i'm taking you into it right so after downloading the app you go now into your google uh, into your high life account so after downloading the google authenticator application you log into your high life account as i have logged in then you go to top left where i'm circling you click on those three horizontal lines and then you move straight to security you click on security then from security you go down here where you have google authenticator now at this level you need to click it and when you click this section where you have the google authenticator you will be provided with 12 a 12 character secret key a 12 character secret key which you are expected to keep it safely you are expected to keep it very safely you copy it it is a character it is a, a code that is made up of capital letters and uh, figures you copy them safely and keep them somewhere because when you click on it for a particular account you will be given that code and that code is given to you once so if you misplace it, it will be difficult for you to actually get it back though not impossible now so when you click on it i will take you to what you are going to see it will take you out you click on add and that you are going to have those 12 words first, first of all copy them and keep and then you highlight as i'm going to indicate to you soon all right all right so when you click this is how oh the, the code will appear you could see here so a code of this nature will appear you could see secret key it is made up of uh, capital letters and uh, uh, figures keep it safely and it should be secret because if somebody have access to it the person can by some means get into your account so after clicking and seeing it you copy it and then the next thing you do is you place your finger on top of the code and then you highlight it 
when you highlight if you are using your phone you automatically have the option of copying copy the code and then you click it you click it here you click here and then you paste when you paste there what next you go right down here after clicking here pasting you now go here right down here you click on authorize when you click on authorize what happens you have mapped this account your account that is the high life account to your google authenticator so they are now linked all right now you don't close it yet you copy this 12 code again this 12 this uh, code of uh, 12 character you copy it now and you go back to the google authenticator and this is what you are going to see you go back to the google authenticator you click on it when you click on it you are going to have uh, a page will pop up like this all right when you click this is the first thing you will see now you have scan a qr code leave that section i won't use won't use that section you go to where you have enter a set of key the set of key is those 12 character uh, secret code that you copied from your high life account so what you need to do here you click on enter when you click on enter this is what you this is what you see a page like of this nature is going to open all right this page what you do here is you go to this second space where you have your key where you have your key you simply paste those 12 words those 12 character code or key there and then above you write the account name if you're having three high life accounts you could begin with this one you call it hl1 for instance hl1 and then below you see here you see here you have time base don't touch anything there after you must have entered the name of the account and that code you move to this section where you have add you simply click on add when you click on add automatically a six digit word uh, code i beg your pardon a six digit code is going to pop up a six digit code is going to pop up like this one like one of these all right you could see this is what i've been using for my other accounts now this six digit code you need it each time you want to do withdrawal you will simply go back to your high life account when you need want to do the withdrawal you'll be asked to give this code this one and this code keeps changing after every 20 seconds it is changing so i even advise uh, most people to use to, to to download the google authenticator application in a different phone it doesn't matter you could download it in a different phone in a laptop top because each time you want to do withdrawal from your high life account they will ask for this code and this code keeps gen it keeps changing after every 20 seconds is changing all right so you should not bother when you open it now and it gives one a particular code the next time it is a different one don't bother you simply copy it and you enter it where i will be taking you to in your high life account so from here we go back again to our high life account for the second time so i'm taking you back to the account. all right so after linking your high life account with your google authenticator using those 12 words you move back to your account as i have come back you move to top left here you click on it on that section the menu bar and then you go this time around you are not going to security but rather you are going to e-wallet this section you click on e-wallet and then you certainly you move down to convert convert or come interchange that is you convert currency interchange i beg your pardon you move to this section this one everybody is familiar with this you convert the the dollar that you have to bitcoins first to bitcoins first so here if i'm to convert maybe say 100 dollars 
I will simply enter one hundred dollars, and then this they will first of all charge me here. Converting one hundred dollars to BTC, I will be charged with twenty eight dollars. So I will ask now to go down. You have select a convertible fund. I will click on this small arrow. I enter the convertible fund. Maybe I'm having resale profit. I could click on that. And then what next? I go to password, transaction password, and then I click on uh, I am a human and I choose the required photos. From this point, you go back again to the menu. This time around, you click on withdrawal e e wallet. I beg your pardon, e wallet. You click on e wallet, and then this page will open. You go to withdraw and then when you click on withdraw you are going to have this other option go to buy btc all right you click on buy btc good you wait for the page to open as it is opening when this page opens this is the first thing you have the ask for google authenticator you are entering it here you simply turn back to the Google Authenticator application and open. Immediately open it, you will receive six digit code. Just copy and paste here. And then you click on proceed. You click to proceed to. So you paste those six, uh, let it six uh, figures which forms a code from the Google Authenticator here. You click on uh, proceed. When you click on proceed, what next you will be asked to to field your info all right you enter the six uh, figures the six six figures that form a code copy it immediately and you enter so i'm going to enter it here let's see let me copy from my other phone eight eight then I click on proceed to. All right, you could see if it is only copied, they will tell you. Good. While well copied, it's opening. Now you see, they now ask the first thing I will see here. They will say, get email pin. So at this level again, you have to click on this uh, re this uh, red section, get email pin. Automatically, a pin will be sent into the email you use in. And creating this account you go there you copy the code the pin you come back you enter it in this space above where you have kindly click on the button you entered it above so a code is sent if i click on it i click on it the code will be sent directly to my inbox i'll go there and copy so i'll first of all minimize this such that to indicate that i have done it already and then from there from there i will go to this section i enter my transaction password what next i enter that pin from the email all right the, the the pin that is sent into the email the yahoo mail depend whichever address you use maybe gmail could be yahoo mail that you use in creating the account you enter it there then what next you have this space here this is your bitcoin address this bitcoin address is entered you enter this bitcoin address through your profile i think in one of my previous video i actually explained how you could modify your profile go to your profile you move to where you have a bitcoin address is almost at the bottom of the page you enter it there you click on save it remains there forever until the day you want to change it after that the next thing is you click on i am a human you resolve the capture and then finally you click on withdraw phone and behold you will receive your bitcoins in your wallet in less than five days maximum five days so if you are watching this channel for the first time please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to hit the notification bell do not forget to leave a, a comment and for those who have not followed the video so uh, closely in the description of this video 
I have outlined the, the steps on how to withdraw using bitcoins detail so you could also read and then i'll equally leave i've equally uh, allowed my whatsapp number in the description so you could also whatsapp me at any time in case of any difficulties or you whatsapp me i will direct you exactly on how to go about the withdrawals so i will i'm going to stop here for now hoping to meet you next time in the next video please make sure you subscribe bye for now high life high future high life high future ciao